Hello traders, in this video we're going to walk you through step by step on how to install an indicator. As a reminder, trading does carry significant risk and all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not offer or recommendation to trade future stocks, options, or forex. Now the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and download the indicator into your download folder. Next, make sure NinjaTrader is open. Go ahead and access the control panel. Click on Tools. Go to Import. And then go down to NinjaScript Add-on. Go ahead and left click. That will go ahead and bring up your file system here. Make sure you go ahead and go access your download file. Find the file that you want to go ahead and import. And it'll say NCAT right before it. Go ahead and double click. It already exists on my computer, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Click on yes, if you get that window. We're going to give it a few seconds to go ahead and import. And it will be a zip file. That's important to note as well, is that the download file will be a zip file. That's perfectly fine. Don't extract the contents. Uh, just go ahead and double click it within your file system and let it go ahead and start the process there. Now, as you can see here, you'll see this window that we need to go ahead and shut down NinjaTrader and restart the application for the indicator to go ahead and take effect. Go ahead and hit OK and close down NinjaTrader. With NinjaTrader now closed, go ahead and reopen NinjaTrader. Now with NinjaTrader reopened, you can go ahead and connect to your broker here if you'd like. Go ahead and open up a chart. Go to New and select Chart. And we'll go ahead and just open up the micro contract here. This on a five minute. And you can put in however many days, it doesn't matter what minute chart, if it's a Renko or anything like that. Next, you're going to go here with the chart open, right click and then go into indicators. Might take a second to go ahead and load. You're going to scroll down to the NCAT tools. I have a lot of NCAT tools here. I'm going to go down to the one that we installed here, the NCAT RSD, the Real Time Supply and Demand. Go ahead and double click that and put that in the configured box. Now, if you have an order ID, go ahead and plug that in. Otherwise, as you can see here, uh, everything's pretty much set. Go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see the tool, whatever tool that is, loaded here onto the chart. Now, we use this example of the RSD tool. But the steps that we went through is applicable to all the tools from Ninjicators.